Hey guys, so I want to go over today a question I get asked anytime we have company over to the house and that's why do you have a septic tank in your backyard when you have one in your front yard? And the answer is because this is not a septic tank. It is a holding tank or cistern for our drilled well. Okay, so our well was only producing one gallon per minute. Typical tap inside your house runs anywhere between two to two and a half gallons a minute. Mind our friends here. Um, so what that means is that this well is not even gonna keep up with a, a standard household tap. And so we're left to rely on our reservoir. It's about 75 feet deep and the actual water itself is coming in at about 15 feet. So you gotta subtract that for your total reservoir that you have down there. So we have about 60 feet times our six inch casing. The total holdings of this well is less than 100 gallons. The standard household usage per occupant in a house is around 50 gallons a day. So that means that in this house, there's two of us and we have two young kids. We easily use more than 100 gallons a day. We use more than this well can hold and the well only produces a gallon a minute. Our taps run faster than this thing can recover. So we have a holding tank. This is a thousand gallon holding tank. Truthfully, we should have gotten a bigger tank. They get quite expensive once you go over the, the thousand gallon mark and a 2000 gallon tank costs more than double of a 1000 gallon holding tank. But the problem is you do get charged per shipment of water. It's not unusual for anyone with a holding tank or a cistern, if you're looking at buying a house with a cistern, that in a dry season, your well might not keep up with your household usage and you'll have to get water delivered to your holding tank. A truck is capable of holding more than a thousand gallons. So you're paying a premium just to get them to come out and deliver and you're not taking full advantage of the capacity of the truck. So the holding tank is here to supply us water in dry times or to get us started up when this well was originally drilled and we're trying to start using this, the our, our home uh, for everyday uses. The well doesn't have a big enough reservoir the flow rate can't keep up. The holding tank acts to build our supply. One quick note is that in this area, a lot of people have dug wells. There's a lot of old thoughts about dug wells and how they're prone to contamination and whatnot. Everyone on this street has great water. And because of the dug well, their reservoir greatly outnumbers ours. This drilled well has about a 100 gallons slightly less than 100 gallons of total volume uh, a drilled well if you just take a standard three foot wide uh, casing and in about 15 feet deep that's already over 800 gallons of volume so that eliminates their need for this holding tank in a low flow well situation a dug well is expensive a holding tank is also expensive the total cost for this tank and separate pump and switch system uh, can be anywhere between eight to fifteen thousand dollars, depending on the size of system you put in. So when you move to a holding tank, you have a well pump that pumps into your tank, and a separate pump that pumps from your holding tank into your house. So you're adding more complexity to your system, more cost, more things that can go wrong. So I'm, I'm gonna pop the cap off one of these hatches to show you the inside of this holding tank. So all you're gonna see right now is it is full. We've gotten a lot of rain recently. The well is keeping up and it's topping this thing up. The, our well is on a timer right now. Every hour it's gonna call for that pump to pump whatever it can out of the well into this holding tank. And there's a float system in here that tells this, the wells pump when this is full. So it's gonna let it know, hey, I don't need any more water. And once it's past a certain point, it goes back onto that timer and it's gonna be calling. And right now it's full. So that's it. It's a simple concrete holding tank. It, it looks like a septic tank. There's a few differences in the glues and the seals from what I understand that are 
uh, sanitary friendly or they're they're usable for drinking water and that's some of the only differences between a cistern for domestic water and a septic tank but they look almost identical so there you see the hatch is open okay so this is the inside of the holding tank it's full of water it looks like a septic tank there you see it guys it's just got a separate line coming from the well fills full of water it grabs water from down at the bottom there's a separate pump that grabs it sends it inside to our pressure tank that's how it works cool. anyways that's it guys any other questions on holding tanks and cisterns let me know there's tons of different sizes you can order if you're in a situation you need one or if you're looking at buying a property that has a cistern on it be aware that probably means that their well doesn't produce as well as they wished and they have need for uh, additional capacity of holding water in case they have to get it delivered. Thanks guys.